What's up, powerful humans? Is there anything in your life that's undesirable? Is there anything that you would like to change so that your life is more enjoyable or you have more creative power to create the type of life that you want? Of course you do, we all do. We don't trust our bodies, we have chronic pain, we are uncomfortable and our coordination isn't where we want it to be, we don't trust our strength, we're worried about it deteriorating as we age. And those cause reoccurrent emotions and feelings such as fear and anxiety and dis uh, uncomfortable ones like frustration. And we kind of get stuck in that, in that pattern, that thought pattern, experiencing those same uncomfortable emotions. And the thing is that it's not that complicated to work your way out of those things. And today I'm going to introduce the framework for understanding how that stuff works and it's the relationship between your beliefs, the reality that you experience and get, and the emotions that are generated and that you experience. This has worked super well for me. Um, I've dramatically improved my well-being and have been able to create the kind of more of the kind of life that I desire and want. And so I'm really excited to share it with you guys so you can experience the same kind of power and benefit from it that I've had. And some results have been like, just a, just a few of them has been uh, reducing anxiety and social anxiety and my body feeling much better and actually trusting my body. So it's really powerful. So we'll go ahead and start with it. First, we'll start with your belief spectrum. And you have a spectrum of beliefs about everything in life and in reality about your body, how money works, your relationships. And you might call one side of it negative and the other side positive. On the positive side, these beliefs are empowering and effective. They get you what you want in your reality. Whereas on the other side, on the negative side, they're disempowering beliefs. and they're ineffective for getting what you want out of life. I'll use an example about our body. A lot of people have this belief or some kind of different manifestation of this belief, and that can be that I am uncoordinated, I'm an unathletic person. It's a perfectly legitimate belief that you can hold. Um, and what will that produce? Well, for one, it'll dictate how your body works and what your coordination and athletic level is. If you believe that inherently I'm an uncoordinated person, then that's going to manifest in your life as being uncoordinated. It'll control uh, how you develop or your lack of development because you won't ever try to be uncoordinated. And the data and feedback that you get from your life will reinforce your belief. You'll see those few times where you didn't have perfect balance and that will just reinforce deeper into your um, belief system that you're an uncoordinated person. So your beliefs also control uh, the reality that you experience. And you could see the disempowering beliefs as producing a negative reality or a reality that you would prefer not to experience. The beliefs in your reality also generate certain emotions. If you're uncoordinated and you think you're uncoordinated, then when you go to do an athletic activity or anything that requires uh, using your and trusting your body, you won't trust it and you'll be afraid of using it because you think that your body can't handle it. So it'll produce emotions like fear and anxiety. Worry frustration, you're frustrated that you were born as this uncoordinated person. So the negative disempowered beliefs generate those uncomfortable negative emotions and they also produce a reality that you do not want. On the other side, plenty of people believe and trust in their body. They believe that they are athletic, that they are coordinated. Um, but just shifting just a little bit over in the belief spectrum, you could believe that 
I can improve my coordination. That would be just like a small step over. That would be just a, at least a little bit more positive. You don't believe that you're Michael Jordan, or you could, and, and you can be Michael Jordan, but at least you believe that I'm not stuck as an uncoordinated, unathletic person. I can improve my coordination. And so that won't cause as much fear or anxiety because for one, it'll actually help you improve your coordination. You'll try things, you'll get more positive feedback and positive data whenever you do something that's a little bit more athletic, a little bit more coordinated. So that produces a more positive, that belief creates a more positive reality, one that you actually want to experience. What emotions does it produce? Again, it doesn't produce those ones as much. You experience more joy and freedom in your movement. So you can see how your beliefs are extremely powerful and are fundamental and they create the type of reality that you experience and they also generate certain emotions. And of course we want to shift more and more to that positive uh, side of the belief spectrum. And this is why a coach and investing in a coach is so important is because as a trainer I've trained tons of people and I've helped them improve their coordination and so I know that you can improve your coordination and you can become more athletic and you and you can and that you should trust your body more so you will by training with a coach or with someone who has more positive beliefs than you have you start to take on their beliefs and trust yourself and do and uh, actually do the things you want to be able to do and have that more positive reality um, that's why progressive exercise is also super important because it'll take you step by step. You trust your body a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more in harder and harder variations of exercises. So that's why using an exercise is a great tool for shifting your beliefs, especially about your body and why um, having a coach is so important. So this is just a little introduction to how this process works. You also need to know you know, the exact process for implanting positive beliefs, for shifting the negative, um, but I can share that at a later time. Let me know what you thought of this information in this video. Send me a direct message or leave a comment below. Check out our website, Procore's website, and if you're more interested in uh, my personal story and how I've used this to shift a lot of things in my life, then you can check out my website. Also, if you're interested in doing this coaching and catalyzing your growth so you can experience more positive reality, then sign up for some coaching. All right, hope you enjoyed this video and this information, and thanks for watching. See you next time.